Hi, this is Monster in the Machine, and this is our hip, hip clip. clip. started writing literally a song a day and put this album together with no intention of even making an album, no uh, need or want uh, to really get a deal or anything. I just wanted to make some music. You know, the most part is I really didn't care what genre it fell into. I didn't really care what the results were. I wasn't doing this for the results. I did it for the process. and. And I did it because it made me happy. And it got me out of some really tough times. I got to sort of tune out the horrors that was going on in the world. And, and, and lyrically, it's just a reflection of some of those things that go on. I originally I wanted it to be like James a James Bond movie intro, and with with the credits of of everyone involved and rolling up as as it went. But that would have cost a lot of money, and we cut out all the fat and we just went into a green screen uh, set and just shot it. The music industry is in such peril now because they were signing artists for that one hit. Well, guess what? When you sign an artist for that one hit, people are going to download the one hit. They're not going to buy the record. And so the quality has gone down. And no one's buying an album to vibe out on the record. An album that you can listen to from front to back and, and come away with a different perspective or feeling good or feeling alive. I mean, we all turn on the news, and uh, I mean, unless you've been brainwashed uh, in uh, you know any institution all your life, or <laughs> you're you're going to have an opinion of your own. You know, if anyone is is successful in music and they don't use their, if they don't have something to say, they're they're wasting it because this is the perfect platform to discuss some of the ills of humanity and the wrongdoings of government and corporations. If, you know, if they're not listening to us, they're gonna to listen to people on, on the news channels that are paid by pharmaceutical companies and oil companies and automobile companies. And, and uh, in a way, we're the last hope. Hopefully they, the monster um, corporate industry people can figure out that you know we need to just not sign anything for some ch stupid cheap pop hit you know for instance Britney Spears had the number one downloaded single <laughs> a few weeks ago and that's heartbreaking because it's it's shit And yeah, the, the Shins debuted at number one. See, that does give you hope. People yeah. are out there listening. There are those people who still get it and care about good music and aren't sort of, you know, falling into that whole flash and, and sure. everything, you know, it's just good music. Yeah.